Hey guys, welcome to this edition of Ari's First Taste, where I try a beer for the first time and you get to watch my unfiltered reaction. Today's beer is brought to you courtesy of Delivery! I mean, no joke, it is. So, thank you very much to the beer gods up there that were like, oh, and she'll praise you with this because that is pretty darn huge. But it's also brought to us by Uinta Brewing Company. From Salt Lake City, Utah. Utah. And yeah, Hot Nash IPA. This is probably gonna be something that a fair amount of you all have seen, especially if you're on the West Coast. I only know this because Shower Beer, so I'm super stoked that I found it thanks to delivery. Uh, yeah, so they have built it as not always available, right? Well, it is because this is there flagship IPA that boasts in a sort of bitterness and vibrant hop aromatic. Expect notes of pine, lime zest, and grapefruit supported by caramel notes. I slightly paraphrased that in order to make it sound like I was talking. So, I'm stoked. And yeah, I've only, I will admit, had one other beer by this company. So there may have been a reason that it's been a while since I've gotten it again. But uh, yeah, and also, cute little trivia for this beer is it used to be called a hot notch, and then they had to change because they were like, not for beer. And I was just like, ah, that's so true. And they were like, oh, okay. So I thought this was a really cute compromise. So anyway, um, yeah, it says it's going to be mostly happy, medium, multi, moderate body, and you know, in color. And I do have my trusty Wolverine glass here to uh, pour the beer into because this is literally the only current glass ale milk pour beer into besides one other one that anyway I dropped my delirium tremens when I was sad <laughs> shall we da, 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 da. you gotta have one that uh, does both things right works on both ends used to anyway Hopnosh IPA. Oh, I forgot one of the most important things here. This is a 7.3 ABV. So, someone's gonna have a good night. I mean, I just finished yoga, so I'm gonna have a really good night now. Okay. Pour it in. It smells like an IPA. The butt wiggles help, otherwise you can't really taste the beer correctly. Actually, uh, those were because this is, now I understand how this could be a flagship IPA. This is good. I, uh, yeah. I almost don't even want to pour it in the glass yet, because I'm like, you know, this is pretty darn good out of this. Okay, so my first thought was it's got a really nice soft mouthfeel. It's all, it's very, uh, it's very soft. Wow, who didn't just say that three times in the last freaking minutes? Um, it reminds me of Hop Slam which I have finally gotten a chance to try, so... Hmm. That's the closest thing I could put it to at first, but there's just like... So it's like the flavor jumps, and then you go deep real quick, and then you come back up again. It's almost like jumping into a pool, and then you're like, oh, that wave was really nice. Ooh. I am digging this. This is cool. Wow, that was really fun. Because it was like... Uh... Mm. Sharp piney hops first, and then, and then all of a sudden it like, whoop, and you're like, oh, did I just swallow a peach? Oh, insert T. S. Eliot poem here. Something about a peach. And yeah, oh, this is pleasant, but it really does have like a honeyed flavor to it that I am enjoying. Honestly, if I had to pick between this and my memory of hop slam, I would go for this again. Do I taste the lime? Not exactly. I mean, I suppose if I looked at this enough, I'd be like, oh, lime, green, beer, but uh, I definitely taste brightness. Interesting. 
Okay, so they're saying lime and grapefruit supported by caramel malts and pine. And my weird ass synesthesia is currently on a beer roller coaster of like, oh, I see this theory behind that because it's like bright, bright, acidy thing, but it's also tied in together by this depth, which I think is the honey that I'm getting out of it. Because I recognize honey as a a deeper flavor in a few ways, mostly because I cook with it so much. Um, damn, this is fascinating. Honestly, it's not overwhelmingly hoppy to me, but I've also lost a decent amount of my sort of like intense hops uh, recognition, I suppose. But I'm like, oh, I like this. So, huh. Okay. This is. Oh, and they use renewable power? Bless these people. I like these folks already. We'll talk about that other beer one day. <laughs> okay, shall we pour? And y'all can laugh at my pouring skills. Also, let's see how... Oh, I really like the logo that's on here. It just has this really nice, like, sort of 50s, 60s, like, retro vibe. Like, I sort of feel, like, comfortable. Like, oh, yeah, I feel like this is what, you know, people would drink 60-ish years ago when... You know, like, way back when. So, ta-da! Let's find out. I'll confess, pouring beer is one of the banes of my existence. So... <laughs> I promise gel unfiltered. Also, to be fair, I had a few sips of that one, and I probably think I should have... Anyway, did the thing. Like, do we trust this lady reviewing beer, really? I swear, my taste buds are better than my beer pouring skills. One day I'll clock it. Anyway. Okay, so. You can now see the color that it pours. It's actually really pretty. Ta da! Not that any beer I've ever seen has not been really pretty, except for perhaps something here. Interesting. You know, I will say for a lot of IPAs, I actually prefer them in glasses because I like the way they blossom, I guess. There might be a technical term that I'm missing here. There probably is. But this one, yeah, not this one. And it's definitely not any worse. It's still damn good beer. Ridiculously smooth. Like, I, I get it. This is good. I would totally nosh on this all day. Uh, but yeah, I would say this is something I prefer as a bottle because I like the way it concentrates the sharper flavors of it. And then once you taste the beer, you're like, oh, okay, now I feel it. This feels like I missed the initial, or the initial, like, going up the roller coaster and I just jumped right into that, like, fruity part I was describing before. I was like, mm, into them peaches. Oh, I see the line. Okay. It's on the very far outside. I don't know how else to describe this, you guys. I, I taste beer in pictures. I'm like, oh, yeah, those guys. They're out there. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Mm. This it definitely does have that. Mm. Sorry, now I'm starting to get like the malt and the the sort of like honey amber beer and I say amber-ish in the sense not of like an amber beer so much as like when you one would look at a piece of amber and think about how that would taste you know like the kind with mosquitoes from like a bazillion years ago <laughs> those are my taste comparisons uh, interesting that's more the viscosity I get as opposed to an actual amber beer, which they are, they're usually a lot heavier. And I, I know there's like, crap, there's all these scientific things. I'm giving you guys the weird ass synesthetic. Let me draw pictures of your beer with my brain version. Uh, but this is, yeah. Hmm. Thank y'all. I'm super stoked that I have another five of these to go through. I'm going to savor this one. So y'all, this has been Ari's first taste of Uinta's Hot Nosh IPA at 7.3. So 
seven point two, seven point two, seven point two, seven point two. And I would definitely get this again. I would honestly love to order this on draft just so I could taste it the way, you know, it comes not this way. Um, but I would definitely, definitely, if I were to compare this to anything, it would, yeah, Hop Slam would be the closest. And I was trying to think of like a more west coasty thing. I was like, um, nothing really comes to mind for this one so much currently. Like this is just, oh, yeah, I dig. Go try this. See if you enjoy. Let's chat. And wait. Wait. <laughs>